Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Robert H. Adams Field in Holliston for Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. And this is a win or go home game between 10 and 9 Hyde Park and 17 and 2 Ashland 7s. Of course, last night Hyde Park took down Ashland 5 to 1. It was just a great pitching performance by Hyde Park as Asher Kaplan silenced the Ashland 7s bats after the Ashland 7s scored 39 runs combined throughout the first two games. And we are just about ready to get things started. Taking the hill today for the Ashland 7s is, is going to be Tyler Excuse me, as this is hit in the air, and it is going to head over to left field and be caught. Tyler Dossis on the hill for the Ashland Sevens as Anzalone flies out. Sam Petipa, the first baseman, will step in. Let's take a look at the Ashland Sevens diamond. Tyler Dossis is the pitcher. Jackson Hornung behind home plate. Tom Cavanaugh at first base as the first pitch is fouled off. Mason Dushney at second base. Dante Diavonzo back in action, and he's playing shortstop today. Shea Donovan is at third base, and that pitch is going to get away and be, end up sending Petipot to first base. As you got hit in the foot there. From left to right, it is Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese as Chris Bear steps in. One on, one out for Parkway. Line up and the pitch. Breaking pitch a little bit low there. Man alone led things off. He flew out to left field. Sam Petipa was then hit by a pitch. Chris Bear batting third. He is the shortstop. This game starting a little bit earlier than intended. Is that pitch up high? Dan Donato, the center fielder, is hitting cleanup. Matt Bruin, the third baseman, is batting fifth. Kevin Zarnock, the center fielder, hitting sixth. Jacob Gonzalez, the DH, hitting seventh. Tommy Goon in the catcher, hitting eighth. Kevin Bruin, the second baseman, hitting ninth. A three and O count on Chris Bear. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Three and one. Tyler Dossis has pitched against Hyde Park this season. He pitched a six inning shutout against Hyde Park during the year. Full count now. As Bear takes strike two. Three and two is the count. Runner on first, one out in the inning. Wind up and the pitch. And this is going to be chipped up the right side. Gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first, they'll get the out. Petipa does advance to second. Four to three on the out. Two away. And that'll bring up Dan Donato, the center fielder. Dossis was remarkable in that game against Hyde Park during the season. Pitched the six shutout innings and struck out six in the six to nothing win for the Sevens. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, one and oh. It is a beautiful day for baseball here today. Temperatures in the mid 80s and the sun is shining. There's a strike, one and one. Your umpires today is Mike Whalen on balls and strikes. Tim McDonald is the base umpire. Doss is set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught by the speedy Sam Farrell for out number three. To the bottom of the first we go. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Heading into the bottom of the first inning, let's take a look at the Ashland 7's lineup. Dante Diavanzo, the shortstop, will start things off. Sam Farrell, the center fielder, batting second. Jackson Horning, the catcher, hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Tyler Dossis, the pitcher, hitting fifth. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting sixth. Mason Dushney. The second baseman hitting seventh, Shea Donovan, the third baseman hitting eighth, and Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. Quinn Kelly on the mound for Parkway, and he is set to deliver. 
There's a strike, 0 and 1. Let's take a look at the Parkway Diamond. Quinn Kelly is the pitcher behind home plate. Tommy Goonan, Sam Petapa at first base. Kevin Bruin, the second baseman. Chris Bear, the shortstop. That pitch down low, 1 and 1. Matt Brown at third base. From left to right, Kevin Zarnock, Dan Donato, and Matt Anzalone. As Kelly is set to deal the 1 1. A little low there. Two and one. The Ashland Sevens, led, of course, by head coach Jake Obid. He's done a tremendous job during his two seasons at the helm. As this is going to be hit up the middle, over the reach of the pitcher, the shortstop comes in and is not able to get to the ball. Dante DeAvanzo will start things off with an infield single. And now he's going to take off for second base as the ball got away. And did he get in there? It looks like he did. So Dante DiAvanzo making some noise to start things off, advancing on the error. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. And the Ashland Sevens bench is loud today. They know this is a win or go home situation. They are bringing all the intensity they can. Hey Connor, just keep an eye on the filter. Kelly set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. And there's a ball, three and one. Okay. One and oh is the count. Swing and a miss, one and one. Kelly awaits the sign. Wind up and the pitch down low. Two and one. Kelly looks at second and now back towards Farrell. Wind up and the pitch. <laughs> That's fouled right in front of us. Two and two. Line up and the pitch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Off the duckout it goes. Well, we're hoping Sam Farrell doesn't take out the broadcast. And there's strike three, one away. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher. Runner on second, one out. Wind up and the pitch. There's ball one. Kelly set to deliver. Inside, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and one on Hornung. Kelly set to deliver. And there's strike two, two and two.
Bottom of the first inning. We are scoreless as of right now. And he'll get a piece of this one. That is going to head over to right field and be caught. And D'Avonzo's back to second. Two away. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. Wind up and the pitch down low. The sun's certainly blaring down on the field. And that will be a factor, especially on those pop flies. One and O oh, up high. Set to deliver. And that pitch is going to be in there for a strike, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. A little low there, three and one. Looks like the sevens, they're taking some pitches today. There was a lot of quick swings last night, but they're gonna let this pitcher throw a few, get a look at them, and try to work them, I think, a little more today as Kavanaugh draws the walk. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. Two on, two outs. Wind up and the pitch. And that pitch, a little low there, one and oh. Kelly set to deliver. There's a strike, one and one. Kelly takes a long look in and is set to deal. And this is hit in the air, past the reach of the shortstop, into center field it goes. Diavanzo being waved around, and he is going to come around and score as the ball is going to be thrown in to the bench area for Hyde Park, and also around to score is Dom Cavanaugh. It is a two RBI double for Tyler Dossis. A 2-0 lead for the Ashland Sevens. As Kavanaugh able to score on the errant throw. It's the second error of the inning for Parkway. Kevin Balowitz will step in. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch, this is hit in the air, foul territory, and it is out of play. One and one. Well, a nice two nothing lead to start things off for the Ashland Sevens. And that is just what they need to get going here on this Sunday evening in this elimination game. Kelly set to deal, and this is going to be hit right back to Kelly, and he will flip to first to get the out, but the Ashland Sevens plate two, and they lead it two to nothing as we head to the top of the second on HCAM, WACA-TV, and HCAT. Top of the second inning, a two nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. Due up is five, six, and seven 
for Hyde Park. Matt Brown, Kevin Zornock, and Jacob Gonzalez to face Tyler Dossis, who's had a wonderful season on the mound for the Ashland Sevens. Certainly has collected a lot of big wins this season in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. And we'll get you the stats on Dossis throughout the year in just a moment. Tyler Dossis has worked 25 and a third of an inning. First pitch is a little bit low. Wind up and the pitch. Ball two. He has two wins, no losses on this season. A 1.93 ERA. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit up the middle. Glove by Diavanzo. The throw to first. Got him. Six to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Kevin Zarnock. Dossis awaits the sign and is set to deliver. Outside there, one and oh. There's a strike, one and one. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss. One and two. Set to deliver. Down low. Two and two is the count. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is up the left side past the glove of Shea Donovan. And Zarnock's gonna be aboard with a single. That'll bring up Jacob Gonzalez. One out, one on. That was almost like a half swing there. You just pushed it right up the line. It took an awkward bounce just past the glove of Shea Donovan. And the dirt is certainly choppy here at Adams Field, so you will have some of those awkward bounces, especially if the ball ends up rolling up the dirt. Swing and a miss. Jacob Gonzalez scored the game-tying run yesterday to tie the game at one apiece in the third inning. And he did a nice job while he was at third base, getting in the head of Fonseca and forcing the balk as there's a strike, one and two. Dossis looks at first. Time called. Dossis from the stretch. He deals. And this is hit in the air over to right field and ranging in to make the catch is Nick Calabrese. Two away. Good communication there by Calabrese calling off Dushney. And that'll bring up Tommy Goon in the catcher. Wind up and the pitch. Little outside, one and oh. Dossis looks at first and delivers. Swing and a miss, one and one. A two nothing lead for the sevens here in the top of the second inning. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to right field. And in foul territory, it's caught for the third out of the inning to the bottom of the second we go. The sevens leading Parkway two to nothing in this elimination game on HCAMP, WACA-TV and HCAT. Bottom of the second inning, the sevens coming up to the plate with a two nothing lead. 
Do up for the sevens is seven, eight, and nine. Mason Dushney, Shea Donovan, and Nick Calabresi. As we get a nice wind gust here at Adams Field. A little bit windy today. The occasional gust. First pitch is going to be ball one. One and O oh on Dushney. Swing and a miss, one and one. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. A nice breaking pitch there. Mason Dushney, a 304 batting average on the season. He has driven in 10 runs and scored nine. Set to deliver. Fouled away. Count remains one and two. Dushney steps back in, down low, two and two. Set to deliver, and this is going to be up the left side, gloved by the third baseman, the throw over in time. Five to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Wide up and the pitch. Outside. Shea Donovan on the season, a 256 batting average. He's driven in six and scored 10 runs. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Kelly's set to deliver. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught four out number two. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese. Nick Calabrese on the season, a 542 batting average, 586 on base percentage, 14 RBI, 16 runs scored. Kelly deals, fouled away. Calabrese steps back in. Outside. One and one. Wide up and the pitch. Outside, two and one. Dante Avanzo do up next if Calabrese shall reach. Kelly deals, outside, three and one. Oh, it was a two RBI hit by Tyler Dossis that scored Diavonzo and Kavanaugh in the first inning and gave the sevens a two to nothing lead. Wind up and the pitch, and there's a walk. Five pitch walk there, that'll bring up Dante Diavonzo. He singled in the first inning and ended up scoring. 
Gets the sign from Coach Obit and steps in. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, past the reach of the pitcher. Picked up by the shortstop. No, it wasn't picked up, and everyone's safe. That was a very slow roller, just rolling awkwardly up the middle. And everyone's going to end up safe, and Sam Farrell's to the plate. Sam Farrell struck out in the first inning. A little high there, one and oh. And this is hit up in the air, a little pop fly, and it's caught by the second baseman. For the third out, to the top of the third we go. It's Ashland 2, Parkway nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland 7's Summer Playoff Baseball. Top of the third inning, a 2 to nothing 7's lead. 9-1 and 2 do up for Hyde Park. Kevin Bruin, Matt Anzalone, and Sam Pettipa. Wind continuing to pick up a little bit here throughout the course of this game. See if it plays any factor. Wind up and the pitch, up high. It's certainly blowing that infield dirt around a little bit. Here's the 1-0. A little low there. 2-0. Well, if there's one thing we learned about Parkway last night, it's that these hitters battle. And they have pretty good vision at the plate. A swing and a miss there. Two and one. Winner of this game advances to the final four as that's fouled away. Two and two. The only other game going on today is Natick and Braintree. The winner of that game will advance to the final four. Medfield is already advanced as that pitch is a little bit high. Full count. And also Morissette has advanced. There's a walk. And I'll bring up Matt Anzalone. Top of the order for Hyde Park. Otherwise known as Parkway. And the bunt is squared, pulls it back, and he takes a ball. There is warm-up action for Parkway as Jacob Gonzalez getting loose. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Doss is having a little trouble finding the strike zone. Here's the 2-0. In there, a four strike. Shea Donovan playing in on the third base side just in case they decide to try the bunt. A little high there, says umpire Mike Whalen. Three and one. Good umpiring crew on for this game today. There's a strike, full count. Dossis looks at first and deals. Fouled off. Count will remain full. Doss is set to deliver. Fouled off. Do it again. Do it again. 
Good battle here between Anzalone and Dasis. And this is chopped up the middle, picked up by Diavanzo, throw to second for one. That's all he'll get. And Ushney looked back at the runner. He wasn't too happy with that slide that Bruin had in there. So Anzalone does reach on the 6-4 to four force out. That'll bring up Sam Petapa. Sam Petapa, good player for Parkway. Pretty good pitcher, too, as he hits this one up the left side. Throw by Donovan to second for one. Throw to first for the double play. is not in time, but they do get one. So Petapa reaches on the 5-4 to four force out, and that'll bring up Chris Bear. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Bear grounded out in his only plate appearance back in the first inning. Nice breaking pitch there, 0-2. Had a nice drop on it. Dossis steals, foul tip. Cow remains 0-2. Doss is set to deal. And this is up the middle, glove by DeAvonzo, the throw to second for the force out, and he got him. And we will head to the bottom of the third inning, the Ashland Sevens leading Parkway 2 to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Bottom of the third inning, the Sevens coming up to the plate. Three, four, and five do up. Jackson Horning, Dom Cavanaugh, and Tyler Dossis to face Quinn Kelly, who's out there for another inning. First pitch to Hornung is a strike, 0 oh and 1. Kelly set to deal. There's strike two. Hornung flew out in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch, down low. One and two is the count. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Pitch inside, two and two. Jackson Horning scored the only run last night for the sevens. And he'll get a piece of this one, hit in the air over to center field and caught one away. And will bring up Dom Cavanaugh. Walked and ended up scoring one of the two runs in the first inning. And he'll get a piece of this right back to the pitcher and he'll run it out over to first base, two away. I'll bring up Tyler Dossis.
Kelly set to deliver. There's a strike. Tyler Dossis drove in the two runs in the first inning, two RBI double. And he'll hit this one high in the air over to right field. And it is going to be caught by the second baseman. One, two, three, they go. In the bottom of the third to the fourth, we go. It is a two to nothing Ashland Sevens lead over Parkway. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. Top of the fourth inning, four, five, and six to up for Parkway as Dan Donato will step in. Dan Donato, Matt Brown, and Kevin Zarnock do up for Parkway. A two to nothing lead for the sevens. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, go and one. Outside, one and one. Down low, two and one. Dossis set to deliver. And there's a strike, two and two. And this is hit up the middle into right field. It goes. And that is going to be a leadoff single for the cleanup man. We'll bring up Matt Brown, the third baseman. Well, Parkway has had at least one base runner each inning. Breaking pitch up high, one and oh. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Runner with a slight lead at first. A little low there, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught. Runner at first stays put, one away. We'll bring up Kevin Zarnock, the center fielder. Donato continuing to take a lead at first. Nice breaking pitch there for strike one. Checking at first, runner back safe. Dossus delivers. And this is hit high in the air over to right field. And it is caught for out number two, Calabrese getting under it. Now bring up Jacob Gonzalez, the designated hitter. Dosses from the stretch. And pitch is going to be ball one. And this is hit in the air over to left field and it is caught. Four out number three to the bottom of the fourth we go. The Ashland Sevens leading Parkway two to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the fourth inning, a two to nothing lead for the Sevens. Six, seven and eight do up as Kevin Balowitz will start things up and then he's followed by Mason Dushney and Shay Donovan. 
First pitch from Quinn is a strike. Go oh, and one. Well, so far another uh, pitcher's duel here between Quinn Kelly and Tyler Dossis. Set to deliver. And this is going to be up the middle and bobbled by the shortstop. Balowitz will reach. That took an awkward hop. A little higher than the shortstop expected. And he couldn't handle it. So Balowitz aboard on the error. Third error of the game for Parkway. That'll bring up Mason Dushney. Kelly's set to deliver. Down low and nearly got away from the catcher. Throw down to first runner back safe. Line up and the pitch. And this is going to be up the left side and trickle into left field. Lead runner held up at second. And now Balowitz going to advance to third as the left fielder bobbles it, and he is safe. Mason Dushney reaches on the single. Balowitz to third. Shea Donovan to the plate. No outs for the sevens. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change for Parkway. They're going to bring in Jacob Gonzalez to take over pitching duties for Quinn Kelly. So we'll step aside. It is two to nothing, Ashland leading Parkway in this winner go home game for a bid to the Final Four. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Playoff Baseball. Continuing on in the bottom of the fourth, Shea Donovan stepping in to face Jacob Gonzalez. Two on, no outs for the sevens. Balowitz at third, Dushney at first. And Dushney's going to take off with the steal, and he is aboard safely. A one and oh count. Well, you know what the sevens were doing there. They were hoping he was going to try to throw to second and send that runner from third. That pitch is going to be inside, 2 and 0. Gonzalez deals. Outside, 3 and 0. Nick Calabrese do up next. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, 3 and 1. Shea Donovan flew out to center field in his only plate appearance. And that is outside. Donovan draws the walk. The book's still open on Quinn Kelly, but so far he went three plus innings, gave up three hits, one walk, one strikeout, two runs, one of which was earned. But he is responsible for one of the runners on base as Balowitz reached on an error. Nick Calabrese steps in, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right center, and the center field ranges over. It's caught. Balowitz going to tag and try to score, and the throw in is going to be cut off, and it's 3 to nothing. The Ashland Sevens leading Parkway. Nick Calabrese getting the job done, a sacrifice RBI flyout. Balowitz around to score. Dushney up to third. Shea Donovan stays put at first. Dante Diavanzo to the plate. Diavanzo two for two at the plate so far today. That run will not be a charged run as Balowitz reached on an error to start the inning. Bobble by the shortstop. Sevens will certainly take it. There's a strike. Dante Diavanzo been, has been uh, out of commission for a while, but ready to go this game as it's fouled away. 0 oh 2. Good job, Dante. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
It's actually, I believe, the first game he's played in this season. And he's been either, I believe he was injured and also had some AU commitments. We'll get the good word from Coach Obit about that. A one and two count. Certainly a great contributor to this Ashland squad last season is taking off from first and stealing second is Shea Donovan. D'Avanzo goes down by way of the K. Two away, that'll bring up Sam Farrell. Farrell 0 for 2 at the plate. Down low. Dushney at third, Donovan at second. A little high there, two and oh. And a little high there, three and oh. Jackson Hornung do up next, shall Farrell reach. Gonzalez steps off the mound. Dushney trying to get into the head of Gonzalez, as Gonzalez did at Fonseca last night. Down low, there's a walk. Jackson Hornung coming to the plate. Hornung 0 for 2 today. Bases are loaded for the sevens. Two outs in the inning. They have played it another run and lead it 3 to nothing. And Hornung will hit this one in the air over to right center. It's caught for the third out. Out, we will move along to the top of the fifth, the sevens leading Parkway three to nothing in this elimination game for a bid to the final four on HCAM WACA TV and HCAT. Top of the fifth inning, a three to nothing lead for the sevens, eight, nine, and one do up for Parkway. Tommy Goonan, Kevin Bruin, and Matt Anzalone. Tyler Dossis in the game for his fifth inning of work. He has pitched well so far. Dossis stretching it out. And he is ready to go. A little outside, one and oh. There's a strike, one and one. Wide up and the pitch. Chopped foul. One and two. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Out number one. That is the first strikeout of the day for Dossis. Dossis, he's not an overpowering pitcher. He's not really a strikeout pitcher, but he gets the guys to make contact and get easy outs. And this is hit up the middle over to the shortstop. The Ivanzo with the throw to first, not a problem. Six to three, four out number two. I'll bring up Matt Anzalone. He's 0 for two today. He has flown out and reached on a force out. And the umpire signaling uh, something going on in the outfield area. I think they uh, want to get those kids off the fence out there since that is in play. Oh, 
Pitch outside, one and oh. Down low. Two and oh. Fouled away. Two and one count on the lefty. Doss is set to deal. Fouled away, two and two. And this is a slow roller up the middle, picked up by Dushney, throw to first. Not a problem, one, two, three, they go in the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the fifth we go, Ashland leading Parkway three to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the fifth inning, four, five, and six do up for the sevens. Dom Cavanaugh, Tyler Dossis, Kevin Balowitz. They have a three to nothing lead over Parkway. Jacob Gonzalez on the mound. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Kavanaugh 0 for 1 today. He walked and scored one of the two runs in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and one is the count. Gonzalez deals. There's a strike. One and two. Here's the one two. Down low. Two pitch from Gonzalez. A little low. Three and two. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number one. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis. He's one for two today. Has a two RBI double to his credit. Gonzalez sets and deals. Down low. Here's the 1 0. Fouled away. A one and one count. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. One, two pitch. Up high. Gonzalez set to deal. And this is going to be a fair ball for now. Will it go foul? Yes. So Dossis will head back to the plate facing a two and two count. That almost stayed fair. They had to wait a while for it to roll beyond the line.
Lineup and the pitch. That's chopped foul. Good battle here between Tyler Dossis and Jacob Gonzalez. Line up and the pitch. Inside. Full count. Leg lift and the pitch. Swing and a miss. So number two in the second straight strikeout by Gonzalez. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Balowitz 0 for 2 today, grounded out and reached on an error. Did score the third run of the game in the fourth inning after reaching on the error. Down low, one and one. Here's the 1-1, one, one. swing and a miss, one and two. One, two pitch, inside, two and two. Set to deliver. Chopped foul. Count remains two and two. Line up and the pitch. And he swung, he's gonna take off and got away from the catcher. The throw up, in time. So one, two, three, they go once again to the top of the six we go. Parkway running out of time, trailing Ashland three to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the sixth inning, a three to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. Two, three, and four do up for Parkway. Sam Petipa, Chris Bear, and Dan Donato. Tyler Dossis has pitched five solid innings so far in this game. And he's continuing on into the sixth. Tom Nappy on the call. Connor Donovan on camera. The winner of this game advances to the final four of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs as there is strike one to Petipa, the loser is done for the season. Nice breaking pitch, 0-2. Oh That's chopped foul. Count remains 0-2. Oh Line up and the pitch. Yeah, the umpire didn't like it. Down low. Doss is set to deal. Fouled away. Good battle here. Two and two is the count. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught. One away. And we'll bring up Chris Bear, the shortstop. Wow. 
Line up and the pitch. Inside, one and oh. Leg lift and the pitch, down low. Two and oh count. That's fouled away, two and one. Toss is set to deliver. Airstrike two, two and two. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught. What a catch by Balowitz. He fell to the ground reeling that one in but able to keep it in the glove. And that'll bring up Dan Donato, the center fielder. Line up and the pitch. Ball one, one and oh. Down low, two and oh. Dossis delivers up high. The 3 0. -oh. There's a strike. Three and one. Dossis, a quick worker out there on the mound. Swing and a miss. Full count. Here's a walk, 2-0 walk, Matt Brown will step in. Matt Brown 0 for 2 so far today. Inside, 1 and 0. Oh. Line up and the pitch. This is fouled away. One and one. Dossis working from the stretch. Runner taking off from first. The throw up. It's going to get into center field. And the runner's going to keep going to third. And the throw over to third, is it in time? No. So an errant throw by Hornung. Now with two outs, I would have just held it. Let him have the base. So Parkway with a little momentum. There are two outs in the inning. Here's the 2-1. And there is a strike, two and two. Brown just could not hold there. is going to be ball three. I thought he might have went around there, but the umpire said no. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught by Sam Farrell for out number three. We will move along to the bottom of the sixth. Ashland leading Hyde Park three to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAT. Bottom of the sixth inning, seven, eight, and nine due up for the sevens, who have a three to nothing lead. Mason Dushney, Shea Donovan, and Nick Calabrese due up 
at the plate. Jacob Gonzalez in the game for his third inning of work since coming in for Quinn Kelly. And he'll deliver a strike. 0 oh and 1. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side, picked up by the shortstop throw over in time. Six to three, four out number one. And I'll bring up Shea Donovan, the third baseman. Well, all three meetings between these two teams has pretty much been a pitcher's duel. Wind up and the pitch. Little high there, one and oh. Gonzalez set to deal, fouled away. One and one. Wind up and the pitch, a little high. Two and one. Set to deliver, fouled away. A two and two count. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to right field and caught by the second baseman, two away. Bring up Nick Calabrese. Calabrese having a good day. He's walked and he had a sacrifice RBI flyout to score Balowitz and make it a 3 0 game back in the fourth. And that score remains the same here in the bottom of the sixth. The wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Final four for the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League will be at Adams Field in Quincy. Starting on Tuesday, and that's chopped foul. Here's the 0-1, up high. Gonzalez is set to deliver. That is down low. Two and one is the count on the lefty. And he'll get a piece of this one over to right field. That'll get in there for a hit. And Calabrese's aboard with a two out single. I'll bring up Dante DiAvanzo, the shortstop. <laughs> and the umpire moving some fans, I think, from beyond the backstop. He doesn't want fans over in that area. Wind up and the pitch, down low, got away, and about, excuse me, Calabrese takes off, and he is going to be safe at second base. A wild pitch allows Calabrese to advance. Dante Avanzo, two for three on the day. There's a strike. One and one is the count. And couldn't hold there. One and two. Wind 
Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss. There's out number three, and we will head to the top of the seventh. Parkway will be down to their final three outs. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the seventh inning, Parkway down to their final three outs. Six, seven, and eight do up. Kevin Zarnock, Jacob Gonzalez, and Tommy Goonan. Can Tyler Dossis finish off the game and send the Ashland Sevens to the final four? We shall find out. A three to nothing lead for the Sevens. Line up and the pitch. There's a breaking pitch for a strike. Oh, and one. He deals. Hit in the air, right side, foul out of play. Oh, and two. Only two hits overall for Parkway. That's fouled right at us. <laughs> And a nice catch by a fan. Unfortunately, I had uh, too many things in my hand to try to make a play on that one. Oh, and two. Up high. And this is going to be a fair ball. Now it's foul. One and two. I think Donovan was trying to maybe pick it up while it was fair because he thought he had the play on it. But it did indeed bounce foul. One, two pitch. Outside. Two and two. That is fouled away. The battle continues between Kevin Zarnock and Tyler Dossis. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air, foul territory, and out of play. Count remains two and two. And this is going to be up the middle and trickle into center field. A leadoff single for Zarnock. And that'll bring up Jacob Gonzalez, the DH. Well, that was the type of pitch there. He was hoping that Zarnock would make contact and a play would be made on it, but able to find the gap. Third hit of the day for Hyde Park. Swing and a miss there. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away, 0-2. Gonzalez 0 for 2 on the day. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three, one away. We're going to have a pinch hitter here for Parkway. It's going to be Gavin Kelleher. Stepping in for the catcher, Tommy Goonan. Line up and the pitch. Strike one. From the stretch. And this is hit up the middle into center field it goes. It'll be two on with one out. Kevin Bruin, the second baseman, to step in. 
And Jackson Hornung as well as Coach Obed want a discussion with Tyler Dossis. Well, Parkway's down to their final two outs, but they got two on. We'll see if Dossis ends up staying in the game. They haven't noticed anybody getting loose for the sevens. Crowd on hand to take in this final game of the pod part of the playoffs as a nice breaking pitch in there for a strike. Oh and one. Swing and a miss, so oh and two. Doss is set to deliver. Fouled away. Count remains 0 and 2. It'll be the top of the order up next for Parkway. That's fouled away just above us. 0 and 2 remains the count. Dossis from the stretch. And this is going to be a foul ball. And Shea Donovan uh, trying to save it from coming over here, able to get a hand on it. Now remains 0 and 2. Slight lead by both runners. And this is hit in the air into left field. It goes. And everyone's going to advance a base. It'll be bases loaded with one out for Parkway. Well, they're not going down without a fight, that's for sure. A 3 0 sevens lead, but Parkway with the bases loaded and one out. Have the top of the order coming up. Matt Anzalone will step in. Looks like there's going to be some warm-up action for the sevens. One and oh count. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Dosses from the stretch. Base is loaded, one out. Time call by the hitter. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to right field. It's caught, runner from third. Thought about tagging, but he will not. A good throw in by Calabrese. Two away. Parkway down to their final out. Sam Petipa coming to the plate. The lefty steps in. And he'll get a piece of it in a left field. It goes. One run is in to score. And that's all that'll score. It's a three to one game. An RBI single for Petapa. Kevin Zarnock around to score. Gavin Kelleher up to third. Kevin Bruin to second. Chris Bear, the shortstop, to the plate. Well, 
Well, you got the game tying run on second base. And two outs, something's got to give. And he'll get a piece of it into left field and it's caught and that's your ball game. And the Ashland Sevens have advanced to the final four of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League postseason. They take down Parkway by a final score of three to one. An incredible pitching performance by Tyler Dossis as he goes the complete game. And both teams waving their caps, showing respect. And you certainly have to give a lot of credit to this Parkway team. They came here to Hollison to play all tournament long and gave it everything they got. And it was certainly a fun matchup to watch between these two teams. But the Ashland Sevens able to get a hard fought three to one win. And they are moving on to the final four. The Sevens scored their three runs on five hits and committed one error. Parkway had one run on six hits, committing three errors. Player of the game, it's got to go to Tyler Dossis for that incredible complete game pitching performance out there to help the Ashland Sevens move on to the final four in Quincy. High Park season comes to an end with a record of 10 and 10. But certainly much respect to the Parkway team and the coaching staff. They really battled tough and certainly made the tournament a whole lot of fun and these matchups a whole lot of fun. The Ashland Sevens improved to 17 and two overall and they are moving on. So we will see you in Quincy next week. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time. Ashland takes down Parkway three to one to advance on to the final four. We thank you for watching Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball on HCAM WACA TV and HCAT. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.